So, um, why did you want to be a journalist and an author? Oh yes, my <coughs> my father was a journalist, and he was always he was always in trouble. <laughs> and one of the things about being a kid is that you can detect excitement, but you can't detect trouble. So, at one point, he wrote an article, and um, the result was there were men with guns chasing us, and uh, my mother was saying. This is so bad. You got you wrote this thing, and now men with guns are chasing us. And I was just thinking, "Whoa, this is so cool, Dad! You're the coolest dad." So from then on, I thought one day I will write something, and it will be so annoying that men with guns will chase me. So I'm afraid I've failed so far. But one day, maybe. What do you think? It is the most important element for a story, for a good story. Yeah, uh, it's. The most important element is fun. You know, if people don't have fun reading it, uh, then they won't read till the end of it. And also, if you don't have fun writing it, then it won't be fun to read. So you've got to sit there and you've got to think of these characters, and you've got to do uh, weird and nasty things to them. Um, one of the tricky things is that when you make a character, you know, you kind of like your character, but you have to make him suffer. Otherwise, no one will read the book. So you make this nice character. Once there was a nice little girl called Michelle, and you could think of horrible things that can happen. She was in the Fringe Club when a group of people, and they'd all started to go crazy, you know, or something. You have to think of terrible things. Uh, and then, of course, in the end, she has to win because I believe in happy endings. Lucky for you. Uh, what kind of people make the best writers? Um, well, you know, writing is actually quite hard work. In fact, look, I actually brought along some books for you. Um, people always focus on having the good ideas and things, but in fact, um, okay, here's a here's a kids' book. Okay, there's not many words in a kids' book, but if you look at, okay, there's the Einstein book I mentioned. Um, now, a book this size is a typical children's book. There's twenty to thirty thousand words in there. So, as well as having a good idea, you've actually got to sit down and just be by yourself and type for a long, long time. And then if you look at a grown-up book, here's a typical grown-up book, okay? Now that's 100,000 words. 100,000 words, that takes, that takes a while to write. You know? So, um, if you want to be a writer but you're quite lazy, go for the baby books. Like, okay, look, I'll show you, give you an example. Okay, now. Now here's a children's book. Now I write this bit, the words, and my friend does the pictures, this bit, right? Guess who gets paid more? <laughs> That's right, I get paid more. Why do I get paid more? Well, it took me maybe a minute to write that. It took him about 600 hours probably to draw this. But I get paid more because the guy who has the idea gets all the money. So, this is my uh, advice to you, never be an artist, always be a writer. <laughs>